Hey guys, it's Cheddar again, and today we're going to be talking about um, something that I like to call random spawns. Now, random spawns, basically, you know when you spawn and you're just at a certain area? Um, yeah, this is not like that. This actually is like a real spawn that is random. So, the first thing you're going to need to do is create something a little bit like this. Only not like that at all. Let me fix it up a little. Give me a sec or two. And... Oh, shoot. Okay. So this is a array, an array rather. Now you see it has two of these brackets. Now this, 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 oops, this, and this are these brackets. And these are these brackets, okay? So like let's say I wanted to set my player's coordinates on on this callback just say I'm gonna use my custom mid te uh, teleport function although you can't really use player ID in this callback but you know this is just an example That's how I would use Now obviously I did something wrong. But it doesn't really matter. That's just an example. I think I did that right. Or did I? I think I messed that up actually. I'm using... Oh right, I messed up. I Let me see here. This, these have to be in separate things like that, not, uh, let me finish this just to show it to you. That's how I would do it. I think, oh my god, what am I doing wrong? Well, whatever, ignore that. And pretend I never even said any of that, okay? Now, uh, give me a minute here. Okay, yeah, pretend I didn't say any of that. Basically, you just need to make this, okay? So make something like this. These coordinates, I will show you how to get later. Um, anyway, on, on player spawn, we're going to make it like this. Not like that, but you'll see. So what this does is says new random, and then it is random size of random spawns, which means that it will select one of these five. If you add more, it'll be six. You know, if it's less, it'll be whatever. Okay. Um, where am I? Here we go. And then it'll set the player's position to the position basically, and the coordinates. Or and the angle. Now, um, how you get these numbers? Okay, so you're gonna go into your game, 
and you're gonna go wherever you want your player to spawn and um, you're gonna be facing the way you want them to spawn too and then you're gonna do slash s a v e and then you can do space whatever you know I recommend doing s a v e space one two three just so you know you know or you could do save correspond save you know you don't even have to have space whatever you can just have save but then it will not have labels so and then you go into here and here let me just give you an example of what it would look like um <clears throat> it would look something like this so you're gonna take the first coordinate the second the third and the angle and you're gonna copy and you're gonna paste them into here okay so that's how you do that and now I'm going to show you that this works and where did my sound go? that's weird uh, shortcut I wouldn't have deleted this Hmm. Anyway, and then I connect to my server here, and I will uh, prove to you that this works. I'm eating pretzels. Now, why it looks like that, I am not sure. Strange. And, hmm, what on earth is going on right now? I don't know what that's about. Um, but I should have a kill command. I messed up my command tutorial, didn't I? Shoot. Alright, give me a minute, guys. Okay, um, it turns out that I forgot to add something in my last tutorial. But you have to have equals equals zero. Okay. I, uh, I should not have messed that one up. But I will add, um this into the description or the other tutorial and tell you guys that I messed up but anyway um this video is getting kind of long so I guess I'll try it if it doesn't work I'll have to figure out what's wrong first but I think that might just be lag or something cuz you know you know <clears throat> oh I know what's wrong I know what's wrong. I know what's wrong. Set player interior player ID zero. You don't really have to have this unless you set it to something else in another part of the script. And now let's try it. I bet your money it'll work. This time it'll work. Thankfully. So in the meantime, I'm going to chew on a pretzel. Um. There we go. There we go. Okay. Now it spawns at the random place, right? Now if I do... I commit suicide, and 
it's lagging really bad. I spawn here again. Hmm. Sometimes you just get unlucky and spawn at the same place, you know? I guess that was technically a different place, but... Are those coordinates the same, maybe? I bet you money they are. Yeah. Well, while we're here, I'm gonna show you how to save coordinates from spawns. And holy crap, it is lagging extremely bad. I know that it must be really bad, and I apologize for that. But, um, which I can do. It keeps stopping. Okay, so I'm gonna do save one. I'm gonna go over here. Watch this, watch this. Woo! Oh, I didn't die too. That's cool. I'm gonna die. Oh, I didn't die. Impressive. I don't know where I'm going right now. Okay, I'll do save three. Now you notice there's no cars around here, right? That's because we didn't add any. And I'll probably show you how to add those in the next tutorial, actually. Because, you know, we're pretty much done with the basic, basic stuff. Now we're moving on to the slightly more advanced basic stuff, you know? So. Oh, jeez, my mouse, I just freaking flipped it. Alright, let's just do some. And over here, I got give one of them the same. This video is getting too long, so I'm going to do this really quick and then we'll be done. So if I go into documents, uh, uh, okay. Four coordinates. Four coordinates. Okay. Four. Four. I'm being interrupted. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. My idiot brother. Where was I? Um. Let's see. Okay. This one. Okay, so that's how you do that, and uh, like I said, in the next tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to put cars in the server. Uh, many ways to do that, actually. So, um, you know, look forward to that, and um, I guess I'll uh, see you later, so thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe.